Hi, my name is Nick Sedeghi, and today I'm going to be speaking about simvastatin. Simvastatin can also go by its brand name Zocor. It belongs to a family of drugs known as statins. It's a medication used to treat uh, dyslipidemia, varying levels of cholesterol. It's meant to rebalance the cholesterol levels in the body. It works at a basic level by blocking the enzyme that's involved in the body's synthesis of cholesterol. Here we have some patient counseling for the indication and administration of simvastatin. Simvastatin has been approved by the FDA for uses in hypercholesterolemia, familial hypercholesterolemia, hypertriglyceridemia, and prophylaxis for cardiovascular and cerebrovascular event risk. These are for particularly patients with high coronary event risk or high ASCVD risk. It's also used off-label for disorders of cardiovascular system, acute coronary syndrome, generalized atherosclerosis. And for administration, we're going to be taking this by mouth in the evening, and it may be administered without regard to food. Here we have some common side effects that patients might run into while taking simvastatin. I'll try and focus on the more common ones, like abdominal pain, constipation, headache, Patients do want to be on the lookout for anything involving severe muscle pain, as that might be a sign of a more serious side effect. Here we have the more serious side effects, and these a patient would want to contact their primary care right away or call 911 if it's a particular emergency. And like I said before, these can be muscle related effects like severe myalgia or myopathy, as these might be early signs of rhabdomyolysis, which is a rare but serious side effect of statins, um, as well as hepatic effects. And this can start as increased serum transaminases or LFTs, and it could be a early sign of hepatotoxicity. So we do want to be aware of that. And here's the mechanism of action of simvastatin. Simvastatin is a competitive inhibitor of HMG-CoA reductase. HMG-CoA reductase is an enzyme that works to convert HMG-CoA to meval mevalinate, which is a rate-limiting step in the biosynthesis of cholesterol. Simvastatin has been shown to lower total cholesterol, LDL cholesterol, and triglycerides while raising HDL cholesterol. Here are the various forms that simvastatin comes in. It comes in a generic suspension and tablet. The suspension comes in a concentration of 20 milligrams per 5 ml, and in the tablet form, 5, 10, 20, 40, and 80 milligrams. It also comes in a brand name flow lipid oral suspension, and that comes in concentrations of 20 milligrams per 5 ml and 40 milligrams per 5 ml. And lastly, it comes in brand name tablet uh, Zocor, and that comes in the same concentrations as it did in the generic form, 5, 10, 20, 40, and 80 milligrams dosage recommendations. So here we have our recommendations per disease state, per the guidelines recommended, as well as the manufacturer. Starting with hypertriglyceridemia, mixed hyperlipidemia, as well as primary hypercholesterolemia, initially we're going to start patients at 10 or 20 milligrams orally once every evening, and then this dose range should be around 5 to 40 milligrams daily. Next, we have cardiovascular and cerebrovascular vent prophylaxis. Initially, starting patients at 40 milligrams orally once daily in the evening, with our range between 5 and 40 milligrams daily. And then it's also important to note that patients that are unable to achieve their LDL goals with simvastatin at 40 milligrams should not be increased to 80 milligrams daily. They should switch to an alternative treatment. It's also important to note that the use of the 80 milligram dose is restricted to patients who have received that dose for at least 12 months without toxicity. Dosage adjustments. So for renal failure or renal impairment, mild to moderate impairment, there's no adjustment necessary. For severe impairment, however, we need to start patients at five milligrams orally once daily. There's also adjustments for use of simvastatin with other drugs like Lamidipide, we're going to decrease the simvastatin dose by 50%, or when using simvastatin with verapamil, diltiazem, or dronadarone, our max dose should be 10 milligrams daily. 
while using simvastatin with amiodarone, amlodipine, or ranolazine, our max dose of simva should be 20 milligrams daily. Warnings and precautions to use with simvastatin. Starting with diabetes, patients using simvastatin have reported increases in A1C as well as fasting blood glucose, so it's important to be aware of those, as well as hepatotoxicity, myopathy, rhabdomyolysis, like I said before. Using caution with hepatic impairment and large alcohol use, myasthenia gravis, renal impairment, CYP3A4 substrate. So simvastatin is a CYP3A4 substrate and it's important to avoid use of simvastatin with strong inhibitors and inducers of 3A4. Here we have our strong contraindications to use with simvastatin. First, we have hypersensitivity to simvastatin or any component in the formulation, active liver disease, any unexplained persistent elevations of liver levels, liver function tests, pregnancy and breastfeeding. And lastly, we have concomitant use of other medications like cyclosporin, denazole, gemfibrozil, and then being that 3A or being that simvastatin is a 3A4 substrate, we want to avoid use with strong 3A4 inhibitors, which can increase the concentration of simvastatin. That could be like grapefruit juice, calcium channel blockers, various macrolides, azole antifungals, and any protease inhibitors. Monitoring parameters. So we need to monitor our efficacy. So we want to watch our lipid levels four weeks after the initiation of therapy and then periodically after. And then we also want to watch out for toxicity with the treatment. So liver function tests are recommended before initiation and as indicated thereafter. We also need to be aware of signs and symptoms of myopathy or anything involving muscle pain as it may be an early sign of rhabdomyolysis. Here are my references. And thank you for your time.